I'm your boy Snake. I'm Mingo Deep. Hammer in the building. Yeah. All right. This is episode six. Six. Woo. 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 We're going to just keep it going. Now. Keep it rolling for the information y'all want. Uh, I don't know, eventually, we'll probably just come in here and just talk about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I don't have too much to talk about. Uh, just a couple things that uh, I ran across this week. Uh, I'm gonna start off with comics. So, found out like in this, uh, there's this uh, comics. Uh, it's a it's the King of King in Black comics. Uh, basically, this this is about the symbiotes and uh, no the you know. They came out with no the symbiote god uh, a while back. Mm-hmm. Well, so they're in this. Uh, I think it's on the thirty three. Yeah, Venom thirty three. Uh, and it's gotten to a point where basically within the time within the uh, the story so far, there's been these uh, these basically dragons that have they pop up throughout the entire storyline that no no is made like there's symbiotic dragons which are like look dope the so the story itself like if you don't if you haven't uh read it yet go go check it out it's it's basically king and black but the thing that caught my eye was that basically um Flash Thompson. Uh, well, I was looking. I looked more into it, and apparently that uh, Flash. I think Flash is dead, uh, or he's on his way to. It's very confusing. It's like it's supposed to be like like Eddie Brock is dead for sure, uh, but it's like they're not at the same time because like because they were symbi- they were attached to symbiotes. They they still exist within the codex of the hive like that because you know the symbiotes are all like a hive mind type thing got you with the coal so it's it's confusing but so what was going on because uh flash thompson he's he's the anti-venom now you know what i'm talking about i don't know Hmm. if y'all seen that well so in this this scene that i that, that caught my eye basically is that he's He's in full agent anti venom outfit, and he starts like he's like sliding down with guns and stuff, like sliding down this cliff or whatever. But what ends up happening because he's actually going in and he's attacking one of these dragons. Well, the dragon actually gets oh gets over on him, and in like in kind of like a last ditch type of effort, some way somehow he ends up. M- merging with the uh dragon which in turn changes that dragon into an anti-venom dragon and it just I, I, and then basically so that in turn turns it creates his own type of breed of dragon which uh turns the tides back onto uh no and that war that they're going on. so it I just drank and I'll show the picture too. Like it, it's freaking dope. I never thought I was gonna see freaking dragon venom, you know, like a venom dragon, anti an anti-venom dragon at that. It looks awesome. So go check that out. Uh worth the read. Uh I'm definitely gonna go back <laughs> to then read through that because that's interesting to me. Uh next uh for cartoons. Um not much uh i was siphoning through not really again not too many things are happening uh cartoon wise that's that to me that is worth mentioning right now but i noticed that uh basically pokemon's 25th anniversary uh 
there's apparently uh, Post Malone, if you any Post Malone fan, uh, are going to be joining. He's going to be joining po- Pokemon's 25th anniversary celebration in a virtual concert um, on February 25th or uh, 27th at 7 p.m. Eastern time uh, so on YouTube. Basically, they're going to do like uh, was it Travis Scott did for Fortnite? Yeah. Yeah, similar to that because it's is is uh they even showed him they already have him like an animated version of him like he's not uh for the YouTube show and apparently the other uh, they have a string of concerts lined up apparently and like Katy Perry is supposed to be like headlining for them so as I thought that was interesting I mean and. I do, yes, I do put Pokemon into the cartoon category. That's fair. Uh, and uh, instead of, I know that that's a debate with people, they anime and cartoon, uh, but I put Pokemon in that category. That's just me. Um, fair. It's fair. Anime, speaking of. Um, so, a while back, I talked to y'all about the um, Fairy Tales uh, sequel, or not? It's not really a sequel, but it's the uh, it's the uh, the creator of Fairy Tales second work, whoever did. Um, it's called Eden's Zero. Uh, basically, so we got new visuals for that. It's a new visual set. It's like a like a poster. Um, and that's for their April 10th is when they're going to be dropping. Uh, so I can't wait to see that because I love fairy tale. I, I, whenever they, it, I hated that they ended it. Um, but this one, I'm confused because it's supposed to be a whole new story and it's not supposed to be about the fit, but they, they have the same characters. They're na- different names, the same type characters. It's confusing, so confusing. So I'm, I am going to be watching that. I need to go and catch up on the manga. Uh, if I wasn't so caught up in all these other mangas, <laughs> I would have already been over there and watched it and read it. But I am going to put that on my list to go and read. The, that way I can get caught up on that. Uh, before the anime starts. So I'm going to try to make that uh, my goal and I'll uh, I'll get back with y'all on what I read and that way I can have an idea to tell y'all about what's going on in that. If you've ever, if you have already watched or uh, read it, comment below, let us know what it's about. You know, like what y'all think about it. Um, also in anime, um, Funimation is actually in a lawsuit. Uh, actually, by a blind person. Uh, so apparently, what? yeah, apparently there's a, a blind person is suing Funimation due to the website not being uh, usable by disability. Uh, the basically, they say they say that the uh, their website violates the Disability Act of such and such. Yeah, I'm not going to go into the actual terms of it, but they, because they cannot navigate it themselves as a dis, uh, because they're blind, they don't have the, uh, they don't, they're not uh, accommodating enough to them. So I get that they do, you know, like that's, it was like a misstep for them. But a lawsuit is taking it way too far. Thank you. You just took the words like, right out of my mouth. It, like, bruh. like a lawsuit, really? Like, why not they, just why not just the email? Can easily fix it. Yeah. <laughs> email is 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 way easier and cheaper. Email is free. Yeah. Write hey, a letter. Guys, can you uh, <laughs> can you uh, you know make this website you know accessible to me? You know, I'm. I'm I have to hear what I'm doing. I can't just really see it. Could you make it, you know, accessible to where I can do what I want to do? Like, what the fuck? (laughs) 
I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm interested to now. Now I want to know more because I'm. I mean, not like right now, but I know I want to know more because I want to know what all he did. Did he? Did he write that letter? I, I don't think he did. No, like he, did he? If he did, you know. Suing. <laughs> oh, you're talking about like did he write a letter first? Yeah, like like did he go or, through any of like, I don't think he did, oh, but okay. did he go through that process? You know, I, or did I will look that I, up? I'm kind of yeah. I'll, I need I'll to look yeah. into it and see what he did to lead to this. You know, like yeah, maybe he did try. Maybe yeah. You know, and or if he did just, and they refuse to, then I can understand maybe, a little bit. Maybe he's just doing a Kevin and just, <laughs> hey, I can't use this. Ah. <laughs> I'm doing a Kevin. <laughs> uh, but so I'll try to find out a little bit more information on that. Like, um, like if, like kind of a backstory, like try to see if I can find out if what steps he did take. Yeah, man, that seems anything. like this is a bit extreme, bro. Like, yeah, because I, I saw that. Like, what? What? <laughs> like, you just how would you like how like, you go if from you like, don't, like they had a friend that did not like ice. Like, she, uh, we asked, told her about the rum raisin ice cream or something like that, and and Haagen Dazs. She didn't like it. Okay, that's fine. You didn't like it. She writes a letter. To them, saying how they she did not like the ice cream. They gave her free ice cream. I'm like, what? <laughs> so, <laughs> writing a letter does yeah, that. Yeah, it does. It never, reaches the right like, person. They, they, I will never let that go down. By the way, <laughs> uh, I, I always bring that up, and they just like, oh my god. But yeah, so <laughs> yeah, bro. Write like, letters. They work. Apparently. Yeah. Anyway, so John Cena. Oh, shit. Any John Cena fans? Not a fan. Raising. I just know who he is. Yeah, we, we all know this. Anyway, uh, apparently, we don't know this, don't know why, but he might be a fan. Not of us, but oh. <laughs> of my Hero Academia. That he actually, is apparently he posted a, he posted uh, on his page basically uh, a my the My Hero Academia the movie poster picture. He posted it, so uh, he might be a fan looking forward to it, or some people are speculating that he might actually have a voice acting role. Okay, so, so here, here's what I'm going to tell you that I do know about John Cena. And, you know, judge not. That's what I'm going to say, judge not. But so it would not surprise me if John Cena is a big fan or if he had a voice acting role because, fun fact, John Cena is really big into the Asian market and the Asian things. I know for a fact he speaks fluent Mandarin. Huh. And, and yeah, he speaks fluent Mandarin and he was studying Japanese. So if he was going to have a voice acting role, he could technically do it and speak fluently. So I, you know, it, I just like I just like seeing like actual like celebrities like doing stuff, like doing and being interested in the things like the normal everyday yeah. people do yeah like i like i like uh um uh, how snoop dogg is like always on xbox like you know, all like the xbox time. and stuff like all the time yeah like i like when they announce that stuff like yeah um uh, uh vin diesel like it was actually uh he actually invests in different types of uh gaming uh entrepreneurs uh, gaming uh, game, uh, like make game creators and stuff like that. Right, he had a lot of interviews about that. I was like, that's dope. It is. It's very dope. Uh, Anytime, like, I, I can agree with you on that. Anytime you get a celebrity that likes to do stuff that we consider nerdy that regular people do, you know, Henry Cavill been in, building computers. Mm -hmm. Like that, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Might as like 6'2 and 12 building a computer is dope. 
Anyway, moving on. Last is the manga. I uh, just got two things. Uh, first off, uh, I'm going to leave Dragon Ball for last. Uh, Magi, uh, the Magi, I know I talked to y'all about Magi. Like, y'all need to, I freaking, I, I, I love it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so the author's uh, new work uh, called Orient, they uh, actually might be replacing Attack on Titan when uh, when it ends. Because, you know, Attack on Titan is ending. So, and the reason we say that, uh, the, uh, the author's Orient, uh, based on Orient had on the website, uh, they've been promoting it a little bit more. They kind of bring it in. So what uh, what they're speculating is that uh, they're once Attack on Titan gets out, they're gonna push the uh, Orient in and like put all that the marketing research, uh, marketing and advertisement to it. You know, like to push help push it out. So hopefully that goes well. You know, because if Orient is anything like Magi. It's gonna be dope. So, lastly, um, so we got some Dragon Ball uh, super spoilers uh, pages and whatever for the chapter sixty nine. Uh, just a couple, just a couple of ones. I'm gonna, I'll have them posted. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, they didn't. It, the couple of pages we got so far. Do uh, they don't really show uh, too much? It's just a little teaser, uh, but it from what they showed, it showed uh, Bernola going, you know, uh, going back to his home planet of Serial, the Cer- uh, uh planet. Uh, apparently, there's another race living on the planet. And I know that y'all are gonna like the name of them, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> uh, <I> can't. <laughs> the new ra- the race that lives there now, that which actually the heaters, the heaters group actually built, uh, started building this new city on the, the planet. It's in a dome, or whatever. Well, the new the new race is there. Uh, the granola went. You, you see granola like interacting with them. They're like like fish characters, uh, or fish a uh, fish race or whatever. Uh, but they, uh, it's like in a market and everything. Well, anyway, their race called. Wait. Sugar. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I ask you to read it. Sugar. Bruh, I'm done. The sugar race, sugar, 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 something like that. It's sugar race, cereal, sugar. Su- su- anyway, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so it shows them, shows him interacting with them, uh, with them, uh, and apparently his old, where he used to live, the ruins of the city are still there, and he's he's seeing it. He can, he's like he had like a mental reimage of the. Uh, the great apes destroying it and everything. So you get to see that um, everything's not translated yet. So there, but there was somebody that did translate a little bit of how, that's how we know about a little bit of what's going on right now. Uh, after that, it, it switches to Beerus and Ve- uh, Vegeta. Uh, and they, like, again, it didn't really show much. It shows uh, Beerus standing on uh, like a, edge of like a cliff and uh, Vegeta's right behind him kind of watching. They're saying stuff back and forth and Beerus like has his hand pointed out like he's like pointing at something in the distance uh, I guess trying you know doing his training that he wants to limber up doing Uh, but then I guess Vegeta is uh, talking to him and messing him (laughs) Uh, messing with him like he's supposed to be there to watch him not talking and then Beerus like jumps back at him and like he's like yelling at him and everything <laughs> and he puts his hand behind him like this 
pointing and he like made an energy beam and that's kind of all we had to see you know like so after that we don't know what he's going to if what is what's going to happen in the next couple of pages you know that's all we have so far but um the the pages look pretty dope i'm, I'm mixed i want to know more about the vegeta situation like granola's little storyline that's going on um I mean, until he does something all inspiring, I don't know. But Bruh. anyway, that's name, all I have. Man's name is Granola. That is all. And that cereal is all. race. And cereal. Oh, yeah. found out. Found out, by the way. Um, they also posted a picture of the Heaters clan, <laughs> which I, <laughs> uh, actually went through each person, each one of their names. Did each one of their names actually indicate a different heating element? Like, uh, so the the main character's name is Elec for electricity. Uh, the the girl's yep. name is let it go. Um, the girl's name go. is uh, uh, what does they call her name? The uh, my, anyway, her name means firewood. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what her name. But then uh, the other two wasn't even, there's no trying to it. It is literally oil and gas. So electricity, oil, gas, and firewood. Like, yep. <laughs> yep. But yeah. so it's just like the heater, you know, the heaters are just like cooler and his, his, uh, Frieza and his race, Frieza, cooler, King Cold. Uh, I mean, it just goes on and on. So. <sighs> And, huh, it's, I didn't think about it till just now. It didn't just, it just clicked. That Frieza, right? Mm -hmm. the Frieza and Frieza race. And the Saiyans, you know, like Kakarot, Vegeta, you know, vegetables. <laughs> they don't go well together. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you know, Frieza... You know, they're bad for the vegetable. You know, Damn it. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like, no, no, we don't know what you're no, talking about. No, 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 no. We do. I do. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. And the fact that you correlated that like that, that is actually, it is, it's interesting that you thought about that. That's all I'm <laughs> that is interesting. Vegetables can't go in the freezer because it doesn't like it. That. They don't get along. That <laughs> totally makes sense. It's pretty That's, funny. <laughs> that that works. I like it because it's funny. <laughs> All right. Well, that's all I got. Um, I do want to um, do want to say real quick, uh, Domingo. Uh, do you remember? You remember my uh, my friend David? No. Well, David lost his ID, so we got to call him Dave now. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's worked so well. <laughs> no. I'm going to have so much fun with this editing. Oh, my like, God. Douche. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Well, that is going to be my show. Uh, remember, oh. go to YouTube, like, <laughs> subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, help us out. Help us get around. Uh, tell your friends about us. Uh, hopefully, we can get some comments and keep this going. Um, uh, hopefully, we can get somebody in here with us and to uh, <gasps> talk about some more nerd stuff. But that's going to be the end of Nerd Nation. Right. Catch y'all next Saturday. Talk nerdy to me. Get nerdy with me.